Hi guys, welcome back. So today we'll be taking a look at Meta as well as Google. So without further ado, let's first start off with uh, Meta or Facebook. So you can see that uh, Meta recent high was around uh, 248 levels. So that was uh, pretty long back ago. Uh, in fact, you can see that after this huge drop, uh, we started off with 248 as a recent high. And we actually hit a low of, uh, in fact, we kind of bottomed out at $88. Uh, so looking at the Fibonacci resistance on the way up, you can see that, uh, as mentioned earlier, this 61.8% was a critical resistance to watch out for. In fact, you can see that even after uh, having a strong gap up, these two particular candles here, there were actually a high shadow or high wick at the end. So this was a sign that uh, sellers was in fact around for this particular uh, counter. So plotting the new Fibonacci um, support level on the way down from a low of $88 to a high of $197, we are currently at this 78.6% at 173 levels. Thereafter, we're looking towards the next Fibonacci support at 61.8% at 155 levels. To bear in mind that we still have to close this particular gap here that was being created on the day uh, gap up quite a bit, around 20%. So this gap that needs to be closed is around 153 levels, around the 61.8%. That said, we also have this uh, red baseline, 163. So this is also, is also a critical support that we have to hold on the way down. Well, as for the resistance to watch, we are looking towards this blue conversion line, which is still pretty far away at 182, 183 levels. So if we can retest back that uh, levels, and we even can uh, go back above 186 and even 197, it's likely for us to hit 213 and potentially retest back uh, 248 levels. So let's take a look at uh, Google or Alphabet. So similarly for Google, you can see that the recent high was 122.43, recent low was $83. And thereafter, we saw a um, potential uh, rally all the way up to the 50% Fibonacci resistance at around 102 or near the $100 psychological resistance. Came back down very much like a double bottom pattern and thereafter, we climbed back up. Unfortunately, this 61.8% once again uh, was a very strong resistance which we did not uh, clear successfully and convincingly. And you can see that we hit a high of around 108.18. Uh, and looking at the Fibonacci uh, support uh, thereafter, we are looking towards uh, the pullback all the way towards this 38.2% at 9283. So uh, looking closely, you can see that uh, on the way down, the cloud would act as a support level. And in fact, it did act as a support level. You can see that many uh, buyers are actually supporting at this uh, cloud support level. But do bear in mind that if this 92A3 were to break down once again, it's likely for us to come back to test $90 or even potentially retest the lows of A3 uh, 34 levels. So two support, uh, two resistance to watch rather would be this uh, first one would be this red baseline at $98 and the second one would be the $100 psychological uh, resistance at uh, $100. So if you can clear it, then it's likely for us to come back towards this uh, 108 levels. If not, it's likely for us to see more uh, selling pressure ahead for alphabet so hopefully we see buyers stepping back in for both the counters if not it's right for us to fall back next towards the next fibonacci support level so if there's any changes i'll give you guys an update thanks for stopping by till we meet again appreciate the manipulation